hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about the basic gate not gate which is also known as inverter so not gate also known as inverter it is one of the basic gates there are three basic gates one is and gate another one is or gate and third one is not gate not gate is nothing but inverter most commonly we use these three gates and gate or gate and not gate any type of logic function can be realized using these gates so the symbolic representation of not gate is it's like a buffer with a bubble okay if a is given a bar is the output bar here represents the not complement okay so y is equal, input is equal to a output is equal to a bar you take the truth table truth table a and y a is equal to 0 output is equal to 1 and input equal to 1 output is equal to 0 this is how the inverting action is taking place okay so now let us see the rtl realization of this not gate so rtl for NAT gate RTL for NOT gate so resistor transistor logic resistor transistor logic that means that circuit must be made up of resistor and transistor so you are having a transistor with two resistors one is at the input side another one is at the output side so this is a this is y and here it is plus 5 volts maximum voltage in this low level devices as plus 5 volts only so it is let us consider this is rl and this is input low volt input uh, resistance this is the transistor let us consider q now apply input as low level how this transistor circuit is acting as inverter i will explain now apply input as low level that low level input nothing but zero volts low level is nothing but zero volts high level is nothing but five volts okay low is nothing but zero volts high is nothing but plus 5 volts plus 5 volts so low means here we have a junction which is base to emitter junction this base to emitter junction vbe is a cutting voltage which is required a minimum of 0 0.6 volts for silicon and 0 0.3 volts for germanium vbe must be equal to 0 0.6 volts for silicon it is equal to 0 0.3 for germanium okay now as the input voltage is low voltage which is a zero volts that will not make the transistor on so simply transistor is said to be off state okay i will write the status of transistor also here for only two inputs we have so transistor is in off state when transistor is in off state then it is acting as open circuited open circuited as maximum voltage what is the maximum voltage across this one which is the voltage applied plus 5 volts plus 5 volts is treated as high plus 5 volts is treated as high potential now take the a as high this high nothing but plus 5 volts that 5 volts is enough to switch on this particular transistor because the cutting voltage is needing needs cutting voltage needs only 0 0.6 or 0.3 but high means plus 5 volts we have given on the other hand we are having emitter is connected to ground base is connected to emitter base is connected to input which is 5 volts so 5 volts minus 0 volts 5 volts only so the cutting voltage satisfies the required input voltage so the transistor q comes into on state 
transistor q comes into on state when transistor is in on state there exists a short circuit from collector to emitter so this short circuit current ICS or you can say saturation current makes the output zero because whatever the current that is coming from plus 5 volts that entirely draws through this transistor only that current cannot go to the output because there exists a short circuit path there exists a short circuit path so because of the short circuit path the current directly goes to the ground that means you can say there is a static current flow from VCC to ground from 5 volts to ground so whatever the current you are applying whatever the voltage you are applying here that entire current generated from this supply that directly goes towards this transistor so simply the output becomes zero nothing but low level nothing but low voltage so this is the operation and explanation of this not gate not gate can be realized using the transistor alone now i told you the ic numbers of and gate similarly let us see what are the numbers of the ic's in the case of not gate so the not gate one more thing one more thing in the entire logic circuit in the entire logic gates not gate uh, not gate is the only gate that is having one input okay so not gate has a special feature special feature compared to the remaining compared to the remaining logic gates remaining logic gates what is that that is it has it has only one input and one output but whereas in the remaining gates we are having multiple inputs and one output multiple inputs and one output. output is common output is always only one either logic one or logic zero but here the input for not gate is only one gate one input okay now the ic for this not gate is ic for not is ic 7404 ic 7404 this ic has this ic has how many inverters six inverters this ic has six inverters six number of inverters are there in a single ic okay it was constructed in such a way so this is the ic okay that ic is having like this three in the one direction one side and three more in another side so one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Along with these 12, we are also having plus VCC and ground. Okay, every, every IC integrated circuit is having power supply and as well as ground. Because we need these two for any circuit to operate. Okay. So, this is the IC, we have IC 7404 that is having 6 number of inverters in this way. Okay, so logic circuits of any complexity can be realized. So, logic circuits of any complexity can be realized, can be realized only using and or and not gates so logic circuits which use these three gates only are called and or inverter that is aoi logic so the logics which are the logic gates which are designed using this particular and or inverter 
are known as AOI gates. So logic gates made up of these gates, these three gates known as AOI and or inverted AOI logic gates or logic circuits AOI logic circuits so logic circuits which use AND gates and OR gates only are called AND gate OR gate AO logic circuits if you are using AND OR invert uh, all three then we call it as AND OR inverter AOI logic circuits if we use only AND OR AND OR then we call that as AO logic circuits depending upon the type of circuits logic gates we are using okay so this is about NOT gate in the next video i will explain about the universal gates NAND gate and NOR gate